Hey everyone, welcome to our Forza Horizon 4 interview video. A little while ago, we were invited to a special preview for Forza Horizon 4 by Microsoft. So we showed up at a top secret location in Culver City to play what they called a near finished version of the game. When we were done, we had a chance to sit down with the game's creative director, Ralph Fulton, and ask him a few questions that we had, as well as a few questions straight from the official Forza Motorsport forums. And some of his answers were pretty surprising. So let's get started. Let's start with the visuals. What's the final resolution and frame rate for Horizon 4? Uh, yeah, the game runs uh, 4K 30 on Xbox One X, uh, but there is an option uh, for 60 frames per second uh, at 1080. Can you tell us more about the root creator? Are there checkpoint limits? And will it be available at launch? Great questions. Yeah, we're, we're going to actually be talking a lot more about Root Creator coming up, but I guess I'll give you the scoop. Um, so Root Creator, still absolutely a, th absolutely a thing. Uh, still, I think, a great tool uh, that our community are going to get uh, a lot of value out of in creating absolutely whatever route they want, whether it's a point-to-point -point or a circuit, it supports both. Um, you get the control to set down every one of your checkpoints. Uh, you get the control to tweak each one as you set it down. Uh, and then um, to your question, I don't think there's actually a limit on the number of checkpoints, um, but there is an upper limit on the distance. Now, I can't remember what that distance uh, is off the top of my head, uh, but suffice to say, it's so enormous that it shouldn't constrain you uh, very much. It, it, you can honestly create enormous routes uh, using the route creator. Uh, now, when is it coming? It's not gonna be uh, in the game at launch. Uh, it's gonna be coming shortly after launch, but think weeks rather than months. Um, and I think that's um, I think that's a good thing for everyone. One, we don't want to ship it uh, until it's, uh, it's it's bug free, uh, and we want it to be as high quality as possible. Uh, and two, as you'll have seen or had a glimpse of today, there's such a ton of stuff in the game that I think waiting uh, a couple of weeks uh, or uh, or thereabouts um, after launch, people are going to have enough to do. Is my point? Uh, is it possible to create a route that makes a lap out of the entire map? Uh, that's that, that would be possible, yeah. Tell us more about the Creative Hub. What is it and how does it work? Yeah, so the Creative Hub is what we are now calling uh, what we called Storefront, I think, in Forza Horizon 3. So basically, it's the, it's the place where um, we bring together all the stuff that you have made within the game, all the uh, the photos, uh, the the paint jobs, the tunes, uh, now roots as well um, will be in included in there, um, and it's the place that you can see everything that you have created and shared. It's the place that other people can come find you uh, and follow you um, and see all the stuff uh, that you have created and shared, and they can then download from it. Um, so it's a great it's a great place to show off um, your creativity, the stuff that you're contributing to the community. It's a great place for people like me, for example, who aren't necessarily so, so creative, um, to go find amazing paint jobs for my cars or, or look at incredible photography and so on. Are there any major changes to delivery editor? I don't. I don't think so. No, I, th I think the main uh, the main change to um, to livery painting is, is that you'll be able to do it at your player houses. Um, and you'll be able to do it outside of your player houses in actually in game lighting so underneath the, the real sky with the real lighting information um, and I think you'll get a much better read on how your liveries look in a variety of, uh, uh, of lighting conditions from that than you would if you weren't painted in the auto show which you can still do and, and is kind of like a paint shop environment. Are there any plans that include Forza Horizon in the Forza Racing Championship Esports League? Yeah, I, I, so, so I think one of the big things that uh, we're doing in Forza Horizon 4, um, and you know, we've talked about it, you probably saw it in the live streams, um, we, we've been working on making our, our PvP multiplayer truly competitive, something it hasn't really been in, in previous Horizon games. Um, it's now team-based, which I think is, is awesome. Um, and there's a, there's a bunch of functionality now um, which will allow you to create your own team and manage your team. You can set um, your own, uh, you can create your own team badge and upload it and see it throughout the UI of the game while you play. Uh, you can chat with your teammates, you can uh, look for group uh, with your teammates and so on. So 
lots of work has been going into that, that mode uh, and turning it into something which can be truly competitive and truly skill based and leagues will, uh, will celebrate uh, just exactly how well you're doing and um, every sort of team adventure that you play you'll move up or down the leagues. Uh, everyone I think uh, will be aiming for a Grand Master which is the highest possible league, the best players in the world. Um, to your question, um, that's as far as we've got really thinking about the sort of competitive side but I do think um, that as we get this game out there, as people start to become really good at it, um, you know, we'll, we'll get a sense of where we are in terms of, uh, of competitive uh, online play and, and esports uh, and I'm sure we'll, 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 we'll look at it then. Now let's move on to the forum questions. First question is from Mantio Max. He wants to know, will we see any franchise crossovers in Forza Horizon 4, such as we've seen previously with the Final Fantasy Regalia, Fallout Chrysalis, and Halo Warthog? So the only thing to talk about right now is something that we've already just started talking about a couple of weeks ago at, at Gamescom. Um, there is a, a Halo showcase uh, in Forza Horizon 4, which is probably the biggest uh, in-game franchise mashup or crossover that uh, that we've done so far. Um, so I'm excited uh, that we're going to show people that, I think slightly before launch, I'm not exactly sure when, but certainly I'm excited for people to get to that point in the game once the game comes out uh, towards the end of this month um, and see it for themselves. Next question is from user PJ Tierney. They want to know how do clubs function compared to previous games and do they have any direct integration with Xbox native support for clubs? PJ, that's a brilliant question. Um, it's almost almost like I planted it with you, which I didn't. Um, yeah, so clubs get a revamp this time. Um, they've been in the game since Horizon 2, and they've I think they've done their job, and people have got a lot of value out of them. But I think you know, if I'm honest, they've never they've never reached the vision that we had for clubs way back when. Um, just because getting the sort of functionality that the PJ is talking about there um, is, you know, it's, it requires a lot of investment. What we what we've done now, and, and he's absolutely right, um, we've actually leveraged the platform level clubs functionality uh, to revamp uh, clubs within Horizon. So you can still create up your own, create your own club. You can still join someone else's. Now you can have up to two thousand uh, members in your your club. Previously the limit was one thousand, so. Um, so that's good, um, but for me, the real value of this this change um, comes from just that level of functionality that the Xbox platform has poured into uh, its clubs uh, system. So now you can you can go do looking for group and, and find people uh, to to go um, uh, play with or to schedule play times with. Uh, you have a, a, an activity feed that shows you what other people in your club are doing. You have a chat. Uh, page where you can actually like chat to your club mates for the first time in Horizon, which is brilliant. Uh, you've got a, a page where you can go and see what other club mates are streaming uh, on Mixer right now. Um, so lots of functionality, and the best part of all of that is because it's in the Xbox uh, app, it uh, is accessible not just from in-game, but on your phone, on your tablet. You could be on the bus or the train and you can be chatting with club mates. You can be setting up a PlayStation, uh, play session for later. Um, and I think all of that means that the clubs, I think the clubs are finally reaching our, um, our vision for them that we had back in like 2013, 2014. The next question comes from user NB3254. They want to know, will there be any new brands besides Liberty Walk and Rocket Bunny added to the body kit roster? Yeah, I think, so I think we've got RWB as well. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. All right. User HLR Moss wants to know, Will we be able to select the season within the Rivals menu, or will we be limited to the active season? Um, so the answer is actually neither of those things. Each Rivals challenge um, will have a specific season associated with it, so that everybody who participates in that particular Rivals challenge will do so in the same season. The next question comes from Gamer1000K. They want to know, Will we have the ability to define custom restrictions for custom events? For example, performance index limit, horsepower limit, drivetrain type, car year, body type, and etc. Yes, I think there are quite a few more uh, restrictions that you can apply there, but I can't remember it if all of the ones he listed there are, are part of it. Our last question comes from TNT for Brain. They want to know, will it be possible to fully disable Anna? 
Hunt. Why? Who, yeah. do, who doesn't like Anna? Yeah, I, know, I, I like Anna too. Um, so Anna is actually, um, I think I know what, uh, what he's getting at. Um, Anna's actually, how would I describe it? We have refined what Anna does and how she works in, in four versus three. And one of the things that we, um, that she doesn't do anymore, but she did in three, and I think might be the, the bugbear that um, uh, your uh, community member is getting at. She doesn't suggest stuff out the blue, um, you know, and, and demand that you, you know, answer or, or don't. Um, she'll only uh, respond to um, D-pad commands that you give her. So the power is in your hand, hands, so if you never use those commands, you'll probably never hear from Anna. Well, that does it for the interview. I hope you guys learned a few new things that you didn't already know. For more on Forza Horizon 4, try subscribing to our channel and hitting the notification bell so you know right away when new videos go up. You can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Motor World Hype. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.